Thank you. Thank you. All righty. So if you don't mind, oh, we already have it up. Look at you. Uh, could you scroll down just a little bit? Let's see how much time we have left. 54 days. Look at that. 54 days, 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 48 seconds until the grand opening here for School Alive. So we're excited about that. <laughs> it's been a labor of love, and there's no way we could have gotten this far without God and without the support of the Church Alive community and all the other support that we've gotten without the wonderful leadership that we've put together. And we really think this is going to be a new chapter in Christian education. And so we want you to mark the date down if you can make it. So it's right there, August 2nd from 2 to 4. It's right on our website, schoollive.com, easy to find. But August 2nd from 2 to 4 will be our grand opening. We'll have people here with tables, Shine.fm, Christian Radio Station, National Microschooling Center, Institute for Quality of Education. We'll have Greater Lafayette Commerce here with state and local officials. And we'll have an open house as well. So we'll have a ribbon cutting ceremony. It'll be really exciting. And we really hope that you can be here to support us. And so that's the first major announcement, grand opening. We're looking forward to seeing everybody. The second one is all the shirts that we have up here. So we have our Alive shirts that we designed. And we're hoping that you can help us represent the Alive community. And so we know that John 3.3 3 says when, remember, Jesus was talking with Nicodemus, he said, truly, truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Born again. And when you're born again, you're made alive in Christ, right? The, the dead falls away and you are alive now. And so that's what we mean by alive. And the great thing about this is we're partnered with Freckles Graphics over in Lafayette. So I like to think about it as a win-win-win. So you win because you're helping to support Christian education and the school here, right? You also win because you're helping to support a, a local company. It's USA made locally, right? You can either pick it up or have it shipped to you. And then the third win is just you get a nice piece of apparel, right? So it's hanging up out there. If you want to see it, obviously we're representing it today. And we're really looking forward to having you all display your shirts and just show your support. So we would really appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to hand it over, and we're each going to say a few words about the school. And thank you so much. God bless everybody. Thank you, Graham. Unfortunately, I was picked to go second, which is great because I'd hate to have to follow these people on what they're going to have to say. Uh, I was in the audience on the very first night when Graham told us about the school. I was blown away by it. And I learned two things that night. Graham is very good at putting this together, very passionate. He has a lot of knowledge. And the man has absolutely no business sense whatsoever. So I approached him afterwards and, and said, I'd like to sit down with you because I think you need to understand some things about business. Having been in retail 50 years now, I've learned a few things. And I wanted to bring that to him. Just trying to help him out because, again, I, have, I was blown away by the mission that he, uh, he has got for this, by all the, uh, the little nuances on all the little things he's got put together for this. It's just, just amazing. He's just touching it, scratching the surface, on, uh, scratching the surface on what he's bringing to this. But um, so for what I'm bringing to this is absolutely no schooling whatsoever, and my transcripts would say that. But what I'm helping bring to him, and between that and two people not here, Rachel and Scott, we bring a lot of business behind this for him. We're trying to guide him and introduce him to people. So the, I mean, school is a business. It's a nonprofit, but it is a business nonetheless. So we think we've got a good thing in place now. We've got a lot of the, the T's crossed and the I's dotted. We're moving forward. We've got support from the community so far, but we're asking for more. We're asking for you to help us because this is for the children. This is what Owen's preached about all the time. You get, it, you get them in the church young. You get them to believe. You get them to dedicate young and you've got a better chance of having them for life. It's so much harder to get them after they've, I think you, Owen has said 11, is the age. That's the magic age. And we're trying to get them way younger than that so we can have them to help further the kingdom. So I'm just asking for your support on this endeavor. And if you have time to talk to Graham about it, and he will talk to you about it because he's very passionate about it, you will learn so much about the school and about what he, his vision for your youth, for your kids, for your grandkids for your neighbor's kids. 
there's going to be other stuff. We're handing out signs for yards and, and the shirts, and we're on, on radio, and we're, we're doing different things. But I'm just asking everybody to look into this. Check out the website. See the mission. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Brooke. I am uh, a member of the board. And um, when I heard about School Alive, two things uh, that the Lord really spoke to me was, one, that I wanted to support Graham any way that I could um, with this school, and two, that I really felt strongly about my son attending the school. He's only three and a half, but soon enough that day will come, and I just really believe strongly in what Graham is trying to do for the community, and honestly, just to revolutionize schools in general in our country. And I just believe where God guides, God provides, and he really has continued to provide for this school financially. Um, the teachers that the Lord has brought, is it's incredible, the, the teachers that we have on board. And also for our board of directors, he just continues to provide amazing people to come alongside Graham and make decisions for this school, people that you can trust to know that they're making good decisions for your children. I attended the We the People meeting here recently, and there was a lady who just spoke about what is going on, what the government's agenda is for the schools, um, not only in Indiana, but across the country. And honestly, when she was done, I was ready to throw up. <laughs> it was disgusting to hear what the government is trying to do to our children. And so I just think, you know, it's, it is, it's it's $7,000 a year for your child. Yes, that is a hefty price, but the greater price of not sending your child to a place where you know that they're getting a good, solid Christian education and there's no agenda from the government is huge. And we can't overlook that. Um, and so we just ask for your prayers for the school. You know, if you feel on your heart to give financially, you know, that would be amazing to help finance all the things we need to buy for the school to support our teachers. And, you know, we hope to someday be able to help support some of the children who want to come here but, you know, necessarily can't afford it. Um, so just continue to pray. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the start date. Hi, I'm Connie Basham, and I uh, have yet to attend a board meeting uh, because of situations out of my control. But um, I, uh, early on, was very, very supportive. Graham and I were in Socom together, along with Sarah, his wife, and uh, I just uh, was drawn to Graham uh, because of his passion and, you know, he has a, how many degrees do you have? <laughs> he has to count. <laughs> yeah, so he's, it, it is a, such a smart guy. And uh, I'm just so blessed and pleased to be able to, to come behind him and help support uh, in any way that I can. I'm kind of on the political edge. And so I'm trying to recruit, and I know that we will have several uh, statewide and even nationwide officials who will be coming for the, the open house. And uh, I'll be seeing most of them this weekend, so I will force them <laughs> to come. So that if you have any questions for any elected officials, bring them with you. And, uh, say, hey, what are we going to do about this? Now, I will tell you also that there were some other people. We had a, a meeting early on uh, with Graham and um, uh, a representative from Faith Christian School was with us, as well as Paul Kramer, who is the head of the YMCA. And they both were extremely excited to learn of Graham's vision. And uh, they are not trying to keep us from doing anything. They are very supportive. And so we are, are looking forward to such a great, great environment because this school is gonna be blessing this whole congregation. 
and it has to overflow. It will just flow over into this sanctuary. Are they going to be worshiping in here? Yes, see? So the presence will be here. Uh, so come alongside of the school, the school board, Graham, and um, we're thankful to Pastor Owen for being so supportive also. Uh, I thank you for supporting. Come alongside again. Uh, get a yard sign. Get a shirt. Extend the presence throughout the community. It's, it's greatly needed, and we don't want what's happening to some of our children in the schools to happen, so it's going to be a great environment here. Hello. So I'm going to piggyback a little bit about what Brooke said earlier about there are a lot of things coming down. Um, oh, by the way, I'm Susie Thilia, if you don't know who I am. Um, and there are a lot of things coming down in education that are very, very concerning. Um, as parents, grandparents, we do need to be very aware and very, very concerned and get involved and act active in what's going on. And the cool thing is School Alive is literally doing the opposite of what the government is doing in schools today. So you know if they're going against the grain, it's a good thing. Um, so definitely take the, that into consideration as you're, as you're thinking about this, this model of education and just how neat and precious it is. And I love that it's such a small school that you're getting such individualized education because I am an educator here in town and if I could change my classroom and I try to change my classroom into the way that I would want my children to be taught, this is exactly how it would be. That very small learning, that individualized education that is obviously centered on, on the Lord. And um, I'm so excited about that. I'm very, very humbled to be a part of in whatever way that I can be a part of this vision. And we are here today to show you our shirts and then also to help get the word out. I went to a breakfast earlier this week, and people are not aware of the school that's coming to Lafayette. And people are excited about it. They're, they're like, what? What is happening? This is so neat. But they're not aware of it. So that's what we are coming to you guys today to help us get the word out. So we have some yard signs that we would love for you guys to place in. If you live in an area, I do not live in an area where I can get people to see a yard sign. But if you do, please grab one. They're on a table um, right outside the door here. And you can take one for free and put it in your yard. That way people can see and kind of be like, wait, what is that? What is School Alive? This is something new I don't know about. And you can kind of guide them to either Graham or I or somebody to get more information. And we will get more printed if we need to. Also, there is a sign-up sheet as well. We are looking for some volunteers for next year. So we have, we have students coming in, these precious little students who will be here, and we need some help. Um, I did post it on Facebook not too long ago, but we need some people who are willing to come in maybe one or two hours a week to help out with our little ones and just make sure that everything flows smoothly as we are transitioning into the school year. And volunteers do make all of the difference in a classroom. So if you are retired or you're looking for something extra to do or like a little ministry um, opportunity, this could be perfect for you. And there is a sign-up sheet outside that you can um, sign up for, and then we can get a background check and all those good things to make sure that we're all, we're all good and get you going for the school year. And then also, I just want to thank everybody who has been supportive of the school so far and just helping to get this vision started. Because the very, very cool thing I will say about Indiana is that parents have so many options for their kids for schooling. And that is something to be just so thankful for. Um, I am very thankful to live in a state that is very pro-homeschooling, that's very pro-public education, that's very, they're, they're pro-parents being involved. Um, and I will say, as a teacher, we do want parents to be involved in, in education. Um, we want you there. We want your opinions. We want you to be involved in the classroom because we want what's best for our kids. I have had the pleasure of working with amazing educators who truly want what's best for kids. Um, so we are in a, in a wonderful state for that. I do think that Indiana is the most pro-alternate type of schooling that is a state across the nation. Um, so we are very thankful for that. In conclusion, 
Thank you guys for your support. If you have any questions or if you are um, able to get a yard sign, please do that. And we are just so thankful to be here. Thank you so much. All right, so you've seen that and we want you to be a part of that.